grow greater He sent us more strength as our labors increase To added afflictions He offers more mercy To multiply trials He multiplies peace When we have exhausted our store of endurance When our strength is failed and the day is half done When we've reached the end of our earthly resources The Father's full giving is only begun The Father's full giving is only begun So lean hard, lean hard Lean on the everlasting arms Lean hard, lean hard Lean on the everlasting arms Lean on the everlasting arms His love has no limits His grace has no measure His power has no boundary that's known unto men For out of His infinite riches in Jesus He giveth and giveth and giveth again He giveth and giveth and giveth again So lean hard, lean hard Lean on the everlasting arms Lean hard, lean hard Lean on the everlasting arms Lean on the everlasting arms You lead me beside still waters Your goodness restores my soul I know that you'll never leave me I know that you won't let go You lead me beside still waters Your goodness restores Lean on
welcome, welcome to Worship Wednesday. We've just about made it, me darling. We have indeed. We have indeed. We Here have, we yeah. are. And uh, we're looking forward to spending the next half an hour with you, worshipping, singing together, praying for one another, and uh, enjoying God together. We are a family, and so it's good to come together today to worship Him and enjoy Him. So why don't we just take a moment and breathe and remember that He's already with us. Remember that He's already right inside of you, but also with you now as you sing, as you worship. Jesus, we want to thank you that as we fix our gaze on you, actually our eyes are opened to what already is. And so I want to pray that you will give us sight to see in the spiritual world today. You will give us eyes to see you today, that you will soften our hearts again towards you and that Holy Spirit, you will fill every heart and every room where people are lifting up your name today. I ask in Jesus' name.
last weekend and the joy and the excitement the kind of yeah is it was it was just so beautiful to see just in this kind of single picture and uh, it may be that today you need a reminder of what Jesus has done for you you need a reminder that he has called your name he has turned your life completely around you were once walking away from him you were once dead to him you 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 didn't know him at all and yet he called your name and he's made you a citizen of heaven. You now belong to an eternal, everlasting, wonderful kingdom of God. He's done that for you. If you are a believer in Jesus, he has done that for you. And if you're not a believer in Jesus yet, he has done that for you. He's calling your name today to turn from living your way with you at the center, with you as the God, as an offense towards him right now. But he's saying, hey, I've covered over that offense by my blood. I have died and I've risen again. And now you can turn from the way you're living and you can turn towards this glorious light. 
this glorious person who says, come my way, belong to me, come into my family. And I just want to encourage you today. Maybe you need fresh revelation of your salvation. Maybe you need fresh revelation of what Jesus has done for you. He has called your name and turned your life around. Nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is, nothing is too dark or too heavy or too in the ground that he has not risen from. And so I just want to encourage you today, whatever it is, whoever you are, come and hear him calling your name again today. sin, fought to the death, conquered the power of darkness when love made the exchange. Once there was wrath, once I was lost to depravity, now you've opened the grave, given yourself to save us. I'm holy yours. I'm held by the power
lighten up all that is given to us a beautiful life waiting with Christ in glory so I look to the day the passing away of all that is crippling and painful when tears no longer will fall death is no more all of that aching will be satisfied God in our midst shining so bright lighten up so good to know that all of this good news is birthed out of the love of God towards us. He pours his great love out towards us today and I pray that you will receive his love, that you will know his love, that you will know this, this uh, promise that we have in him, that he gives us life now. That life is eternal life that we live, uh, that we're going to be in- enjoying forever, that when this flesh passes, actually we're still going to be living with him forever and ever. Isn't that wonderful news today? 
So thank you for joining us. And um, as you know, you may have seen Ella finished her GCSEs, which was pretty good. Wonderful. She did so well. We're so proud of her. And um, we've actually got um, some news that next week is our 25th wedding anniversary. It is indeed. We, look, we don't look a day older, do we, Dal? No. <laughs> and so um, we are actually going to go away on holiday. <laughs> it's a bit exciting. Um, so Nathan and I are not going to be here next week, but we will be doing a pre-record. So Worship Wednesday will be happening next week, and it will be going up live for you in the moment. Um, but we're going to record it in advance because we are going to be sunning ourselves on holiday. Happy yes, days. Happy days. Thank you to all who came to Norwich. We had such an amazing day. It was really, really special. I don't think we could have asked for more. So um, thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. Thank you for your encouraging words. We've got some more dates coming out in the autumn. Um, we're going to be in Darlington on the 20, no, on the 30th of September and also Siren Sister on the 25th of November. And I've got more for next year too. But just to give you a heads up on those, Darlington on the 30th of September and Siren Sister on the 25th of November which is exciting and we've got more to come for next year anyway God bless you and I pray that you will have a good week and we will see you soon bye bye for now the greatest love song the greatest story the King of Heaven, the Word became a man. So helpless sinners can't find forgiveness. Born for our salvation, God's redemption plan. The curse of sin placed upon His shore.
disappointments, believe the cross and.